Mr. Beast is finally Mr. finished. Beast Mr. Beast, Mr. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, the Mr. Beast, 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 Mr. One out of ten. Listen, right now on YouTube, it's enough to say Mr. Beast is done to get millions of views. But sometimes you just gotta be realistic. One out of ten means that out of the last ten videos that you posted, this video is performing the best of all of them. Mr. Beast got 73 million views in one day and three hours. So approximately 20 million views more and this video could have been the most viewed video in the first 24 hours in the history of YouTube. This is not what you call a person that is cooked. As I see it, the only ones who are being cooked right now is us. By Mr. Beast. So as every single one of you already know, Mr. Beast did some sketchy stuff. A ton of illegal lotteries, fake videos, manipulative strategies to get people interact with his products. Knowledge of Chris Tyson's interests being anything but the age of consent. The list is pretty long and was provided by this dude in this video that you already seen probably a couple of dozens of times. In the beginning, this drama had a pretty simple template that a lot of other YouTube dramas have. Some in Info comes out, people are mad, and the YouTuber gets cancelled. This is what a lot of people thought would happen. Millions of people on the internet are going right now after Mr. Beast, trying to make him at least respond to the claims. Usually in this scenario, a YouTuber comes out with a response video and gets clowned and memed to the rest of their days. But what makes this particular drama interesting is that Mr. Beast is uncancelable. And let me explain. Dawson, or Dogpack, the ex Mr. Beast employee who exposed him has received a cease and desist twice, with one of them being titled Final Warning. And he added a fucking emoji. This dude, bro. <laughs> he posted the letters on socials. Cease and desist these nuts! Balls that this dude has to troll a multi million dollar company like that. Anyway, Dogpack has been silent for two days now. While I'm editing, I will add a note if he has said anything when this video is posted. But knowing how active he has been on Twitter and on YouTube, it's concerning that Dawson went silent so recently when the drama is only heating up. He surely would have said something about the new Mr. Beast video. About Mr. Beast deleting comments on his new video. So here we see the comment section. People are writing without caps because there are a lot of keywords that are getting instantly deleted. Now let's try to open this comment or this comment you knew somebody made it in another language so you can translate it and you see brother pay attention to the allegations let's open this comment stop censoring mr beast let's open this comment delete it delete it delete it this one this one is still up because it's probably really hard to manage all of the comments that are coming in so this one was missed but you get the idea all of these comments that are against mr beast talking about the allegations are getting massively deleted and i'm just guessing it's probably by real people they're probably hired to filter all the comment sections someone is saying you can't just ignore it the thing is he can and he can fight with the comment section he'll just keep deleting the comments and people cannot win him in the comment section okay now the most juicy drama right now is the like dislike ratio drama alert on twitter that is owned by keemstar posted a screenshot of the like dislike ratio on this video i can't show it because it has been deleted the reason that drama alert deleted that screenshot is we apologize we just deleted a tweet showing 500,000 dislikes on Mr. Beast's new upload. This info came from a third-party app that allows you to see dislikes. If you for some reason don't know, there is an extension called Return YouTube Dislike. Most of the people to see dislikes on videos use this extension. Fellow creators reached out saying that that third-party app is not to be trusted. We also got in contact with Mr. Beast for the real numbers. Keemstar and Mr. Beast are the people that I will trust my whole life on. So. 
Here was about to be a rant that uh, this here is fake. This is a video evidence that was provided by Chucky, one of Mr. Beast employees. And here you can see that their video has 2 million likes and 20,000 dislikes. And I wanted to say that this was hella fake because it isn't possible that it has so much less dislikes because this is the average dislike for the Mr. Beast channel. But I did the math on some videos and this is quite possible. I'm gonna really fast explain what I did. Okay, in this part of the video I was explaining the math that I did, but if you want to count, you can go count. It's basic percentages. Like, this video got 20,000 dislikes on 2 million views, and if you look up the dislike ratio in regular Mr. Beast videos, count percentages and put two and two together, you can find out that this amount of dislikes is bigger than he usually gets on this amount of views. I also have an argument why I don't believe that there is like 1 million I don't believe that there is this much dislike Dogpack's video where he exposes Mr. Beast has 500,000 likes 11 days ago and in 11 days it gained 500,000 likes where did all these alleged people come from like this amount of dislikes in that short amount of time and now I want to prove to you that this extension can be wrong we go on my bitch ass channel that you should subscribe to so let's see this video got 14 dislikes the extension shows that i got four dislikes so the extension show less okay my most viewed video got 101 dislike and here we see that the extension shows 65 dislikes when there is much more the ultra kill video got 37 dislikes the extension shows 37 dislikes it is probably because this video is really old and nobody is interacting with it so maybe the number of dislikes in that video will be correct but after a long time i think there is a possibility of that okay we found out that the old videos get the correct amount of dislikes let's check out my old videos the streamy awards video has 20 dislikes no it has 32 dislikes look at that and it's a video that nobody watches because it was streamy awards 2023 like people watch it and people forget about it forever it's not a video that people come back for so basically this extension can be correct and can be incorrect but i see that it is mostly incorrect okay one last of my old videos it has two dislikes the extension shows that it has four dislikes i heard that you can only see the dislikes put by the people who use the extension but that is bullshit because the dislikes are always different they're either more than it actually is or less than it actually is and only one time in my investigation i got the correct amount of dislikes so I was coming in with a big bias towards Mr. Beast and towards Keemstar, but if I'm now being honest, although a lot of people are saying that this is fake, listen to me, compared to this, like, if I had to pick what is more likely, this is more likely. Also, in addition to everything that was said, Mr. Beast is radio silent to the drama, he has not reacted to it, and I do not understand why people are so in shock that Mr. Beast posted this video. Here is an interview from Colin and Samir to Mr. Beast four months ago. Here you can see him in the hazard suit, and in this interview he confirms that he is making a video with two people trapped in a bunker, and that's why he is wearing the hazard suit he literally was making that video already making that video four months ago like imagine all the people that worked on that video they probably scheduled that video to be posted particularly in this time like what would they choose a video that was worked by the whole company for months or a response video to the allegations of course they posted the video it's not me defending mr beast it's me stating logical facts that video has paid promotion of of course Mr. Beast cannot ignore it. Jimmy makes all his videos in advance, so I knew that this would happen. It's 2 a.m. What am I doing with my life? In conclusion, people cannot cancel Mr. Beast. People tried to cancel Darman. People tried to cancel Colleen Ballinger. People tried to cancel Sniper Wolf. And all of these people are much small creators compared to Mr. Beast. If I'm being honest, I don't even believe in cancel culture itself. If a creator is able to cope with the hate that they are getting, they cannot be canceled. They will just keep doing what they are doing if they're if they don't get banned, of course. And trust me, YouTube is not gonna ban Mr. Beast. <laughs> That's out of the way. But 
This is an important part of the video. Please do not ignore it. It doesn't mean that Mr. Beast is untouchable. If Mr. Beast gets in some legal trouble, the government can cancel him. The government has that authority, you know? Dogpack stated that there's like much more to uncover. Realistically, the only authority that can cancel Mr. Beast is the court of law. That's the only way that something actually bad can happen to him. And everybody who is saying like, Jimmy can't ignore the hate forever. Jimmy can't do this. N nah, he can. He can. And he probably will. But for God's sake, he is not the Antichrist. Also, the problem with this drama is because this drama is so enormous, other really important events are being ignored. A lot of people don't know that Moist Critical quit the drama community. No, like, actually quit. He's not gonna make drama content anymore. I made a video about it. It got absolutely ignored. It has 500 views right now. And you should watch it. There is a lot of important information about Moist Critical, his debate with Sneeko, and how that led to him quitting the drama community. You should check it out. In the meantime, this is where I get off.